from doing a lot of recording. I think we have 41 albums right now or something. Yeah. That's a lot of recordings. I th th Hang on, we're on Zoom. Where's the little reaction thing? Here we go. <laughs> I think there are a couple of ways that we generally make albums. One is when composers approach us about recording their work. And often the composers will have funding from a grant or an institution to, to do this. And maybe we'll, have, we'll record one piece on a larger album with mixed repertoire. Mm -hmm. Um, in several cases, uh, we'll do a composer portrait disc that is a full disc because there's so many string quartets or they're longer works. Those end up having more of like a Jack brand attached mm -hmm. to them rather than just being on a mixed CD. And then there are albums that we curate, usually somehow connected to composers and the opportunities they have. Um, but we've had more and more luck in recent years applying for recording grants, um, which usually fund like 50% of an, of an album. And then actually now, because of COVID, we're primarily just a recording group. I suspect that the standard for recording is going to be different. In the past, usually recordings were like these highly edited things. But now I think because people are doing so much more recording, it's going to swing back toward a little bit more of like a, a live-ish. Yeah, it's something that's a, a bit more natural. Do you feel like that's a... That's a positive development. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I'm I am a sucker for highly produced recording, especially like super pop music. You know, it's like it doesn't sound real at all when you're listening to it, and it's, it's sort of like a letdown if you go see like Katy Perry live. <laughs> no offense to Katy Perry, <laughs> but you know, like it it doesn't sound anything like what the production makes it sound no, like. No, no, yeah. Um, for a string quartet, I think it mostly does. It's just in the details. I know that our studio recordings are like inhuman when I'm really listening 